Westmoreland hosted Beaver River in the Class C bracket as well. Bulldogs scored a run in the first and second for a 2-0 lead here with bases loaded in the sixth. Wild pitch goes high, so Bailey Siriani comes in. A close play at home, but she's safe. Her one time on base today after being hit by a pitch. So there's an insurance run. It's 3-0. Runners advance to second and third. Same batter and another high pitch allows Peyton Kingwater to come in and score. Not as close at home this time. It makes it 4-0. Doubles up the score from earlier in the inning. Kingwater went three for four today and along with an early hitting situation that gave them the early 2-0 lead. The Bulldogs say that it was their pitching of 8th grader Samantha Ferguson that made the difference. It's really big and I didn't think I was going to end up here, but it happened. So <laughs> I didn't know how my pitching was going to hold up against older kids and I didn't know if they were going to hit me or not, but then we have a defense. They've made lots of big plays. A few times we broke down, but overall it's been really good. Sam is in eighth grade. She's incredible. I love her. And I just can't wait to, I'm graduating, but I can't wait to see what she does in the fo following years on this team. She's going to be, she's definitely going to be one to look out for. Ferguson now has a seven and one pitching record this year carrying the team. Probably won't be able to play tomorrow though, as it's a game they're going to play in the quarterfinals as Westmoreland moves on to play at Pulaski. Number 14, Herkimer softball fell to number three, Plask guy today, 4 0. Jenna Riesel went two for three. Marion Lescovar and Charity Diger each had one hit. Herkimer had runners in scoring position four times but failed to capitalize. And just a few feet away from the Westmoreland softball game, the Westmoreland baseball team fell 1 0 to South Lewis, who will move on to play number one, Cooperstown, in Cooperstown tomorrow.